Three, two, one. Hey guys, Elvin Prince here, back with another Battlefront 2 new playthrough. Gonna try removing the face cam just just to make things a bit easier. But yeah. Let's get started. Right, Coruscant. Every hour of our downtime was spent in the simulator, preparing for the time we would face our enemies from the cockpit of a 170. Finally, the day came to earn our winner. The CIS had staged a daring kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine and was being escorted from Coruscant by a fleet of Separatist ships. With only a few veteran pilots on planet, many of the 501st were pressed into service to drive off the Septs and buy time for a pair of Jedi Knights to rescue the Yeah. It's interesting just to see the with the Clone Wars how there was an absolute lack of any really any specialized troops for for space combat there were pilots trained but they just never really had very many and it just shows one of the problems that the republic had with the fact that clones took on average for some of the better units about nine years to uh, become combat ready so to speak and in many ways the uh, seps should have won and, but but it's very clear that uh, Sheev was pulling the strings behind the scenes just enough to keep the war going so that he would have unlimited power. But yeah, it's kind of Space combat is one of the few things that is, it leaves a bit to be desired in this game, but it's still entertaining. I mean, most of it is just doing bombing runs, but that's more or less what space combat was. Yeah. Even though the space combat is not the best part of the game, it's still very entertaining. Just I mean, probably after this gonna go for a Galactic Conquest bit. those it's fun to just have all the different bits of lore that you 
who can see a that was slowly built up from the perspective of a a trooper who knew what he would have to do eventually and Just the way that the clones would, again I find it, I prefer this version of the canon where the clones knew that they'd have to go kill their Jedi, but as we'll see with Operation Nightfall eventually, if any of them had any secret traitorous thoughts, they didn't show them. Just kind of like what the one guy said whose name I'm spacing on, but it's from the whole Fives arc. Uh, good soldiers follow orders. Damn it. Okay. Let's so if I can get to that one before a clanker does because I... Yeah, but looking back on everything, the Separatists easily should have won. They... The thing is, they never needed to win the war. They just needed to fight the Republic to, to uh, stand still. After disabling the final Catalan ship, General Kenobi and Skywalker took advantage of the opportunity we'd created and rescued the Chancellor. All the credit too. Yeah, with that final bit, it definitely shows that the clones were, to most, just a overly smart droid that just so happened to also have have sentience. Which, I mean, the clones never really got any credit for their work. I mean, within the units, they would be, be praised, but outside of that, not really. Let's save and Lucia. This is actually the planet uh, Ala Secura was on during Order 66 with Commander Bly. It's been said that the 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. On Felucia, the Seths dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did. Only to be met with the month after month of fresh human diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. Cut off and for all we knew, abandoned by our superiors. Our only hope was Ayla Secura, our Jedi commander. Without her, I would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When her death came, I hope it was quick. She earned that much. Now let's engineer. Yeah, but 
If you didn't notice, these are the same creatures that were in the arena battle for episode uh, two in the Geonosian arena. And you can definitely see why they were so deadly. Just, they're clearly designed or evolved to kill. I mean, just with, I think, if you can compare the Umbara campaign to through the whole Vietnam um, war, you can definitely compare Felicia to the almost any other war in the Pacific theater, just with the bacterias, weird creatures. You know, general unpleasantries like that. CIS units have been detected moving in this direction. Defend the ATTE until Jedi Master Fakuda arrives. Yeah, uh, but like I said, I enjoy this where the cl clones knew what they would have to do, but they never had any. They still willingly committed it, even after, for some, growing close to their Jedi, or others just growing to despise them. I mean, one example of a Jedi that took advantage of his troops for as droids. In all technicalities, he was a traitor, but uh, Pong Karel from, like I said, the Umbara arc. It definitely shows how if someone gets, I wouldn't say corrupted by the dark side, but sees the promise that it holds because it very much is more powerful and yes gateway to abilities that some consider unnatural but it's more or less a side of the force or not even a side it's just part of it which is something Revan understood, and I've always liked that about his character. He realized that there is a corrupting nature to using dark side powers, but he never really fell to its power. He took what the dark side had to offer and left the rest behind, using it for its power to fight an enemy who he knew the Republic as torn and destroyed as it was, would never be able to survive an attack by Vitiate. Oh fuck, that's an accolade. Yeah. That's cool. The bomb's still there. Yeah, like I said, if there's any other games you want me to try, just let me know in the comment section. I heard that there this could use a bit more variety of sorts. And I'm more than willing to provide that. I just need 
a different game to uh, do it with because this understand might not be the most exciting for some that also could just be the whole audio issue I had last time but yeah do let me know because one of at least for the first bit of the channel try catering to your guys's needs because or once because I'm only gonna be able to really make it anywhere if you enjoy the content I make and I can only make the content you like if you let me know what content it is you like. The snail droids. They're probably one of my favorite tank designs. The ATTEs are the absolute genius, all things considered. Definitely better than the at at walkers, but yeah. They're better. Depending on what the next one is, the this might be the end. Rotated out of Pelusia, Ayla Sakula made a point of seeing us off personally, calling us the bravest soldiers she'd ever seen. It's a good thing we were wearing helmets, because none of us could bear to look her in the eye. Yeah, I, I personally enjoy the whole thing where it hurt them to know what they needed to do and eventually they did it but just if they had any personal qualms against it is something I want to uh, know more about but yeah that'll be it for this video and the next one we're going to be the Kashyyyk campaign it's a two-parter with both a space and ground assault. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. So hope to see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, share. If you feel like it, subscribe. And yeah, this is Elvin Prince, signing out.